Hey everybody, this is Joe with GeoVision back with another demo tutorial video. Today's video will be going over the Save as AVI feature within the GeoVision Edge Recording Manager software. Before I get into today's video, if you find the content on this channel useful, please give it a like and also consider subscribing to the channel. So for, again, for today's video, we will be going over the Save as AVI feature within the Edge Recording Manager software. And for anyone that may be new to Edge Recording Manager, it is a free program that allows users to view both live video and playback video. This can be downloaded from the GeoVision website and you can put it on your laptop or your desktop PC or really wherever you like to view uh, your video. So when you are backing up footage, you have a couple options. One is the save as AVI option. And that gives someone the ability to view um, the video on any PC that has a standard media player, such as Windows Media Player. So that's what I'll be demonstrating today. What you'll want to do at first is whenever you are within the Edge Recording Manager software, you'll need to make sure that you're in the playback tab. So right here at the top, we're currently in the live view. I can click on playback. And over on the left side, you will want to make sure that you have expanded your host list and you have your cameras listed out here. Now, if you come to the screen and it is condensed like this, you can just simply click the plus sign. And then if your camera list is condensed, just click the plus sign on it and it will reveal all of your cameras. Now, what you will want to do is you will want to locate the camera or cameras that you are interested in backing up and just simply drag and drop them into the spot that you would like them to display on the screen. Now, one thing I do want to make everyone aware of with the Save as AVI option is however you have the cameras laid out on the screen is how it will back up the footage. And what I mean by that is if I have say two cameras here on the left and then the right, it is just blank like this. When we're playing back the footage, it's going to appear blank like this. So if you don't want that and you want your video to fill the full screen, it's best to create a layout that is a single channel layout and it will make your camera fill the full screen. If you'd like to do that, you can click right here where it says layout. You can click, click the plus sign and hit add new layout. And let's call this one single channel view. And what you'll want to do is hit the customize button right here, hit OK. And then you will drag and hold for this entire screen. And then you hit the merge button here in the top left. Once you do that, you have basically made a one cell option where you can hit OK. And then you have the ability to select the camera that you're interested in and drag it in. Now, again, you'll want to make sure that you're in the playback tab. And when you're in the playback tab, you can find your single view screen. And again, you can find your, your camera, drag it in, and it will populate your video footage for that day at the bottom. Now, if you're interested in changing days, you can click on the calendar button here on the bottom left, and it will bring up a calendar. Any days that are in blue are days that you have recorded footage, and you can just simply double click on that day to populate the timeline with that day's footage. Hit the X here. And down here on the timeline, if you would like to be able to zoom in on an hour, you can just simply put your mouse there and start scrolling up with your mouse and it will break you down into a minute view of that hour. And let's say that you have found the event that you're interested in backing up. What you can do is just put your cursor at the beginning of the event, right click, hold and drag, and you'll notice that it will highlight that time frame. And once you do that, you just release and your, your menu will come up. You can then select the Save as AVI option. Now, once you bring up the Save as AVI option, you will get a menu that comes up here. And at the top, you can trim down your time frame if you would like, just by simply dragging the slider here. If you don't want to edit it, just leave it alone. And the next thing that you need to do is you need to hit the setting button in the bottom left. It will bring up this menu. And the first option is you will want to tell the software where you want the video to back up. That's right here in the set location section. So you click the little box here with the three dots on it. Let's say that we want to put this on our desktop and we are going to name this demo clip. You can name it whatever you want, obviously. Hit save. And the important option 
is you need to down here where it says codec, you need to make sure that this is selected as WMV9. Now, what that allows you to do is when you export this video and you share it with someone, whether it be on a thumb drive or maybe you upload it to like a Google Drive link or something like that, it is a universal format that can be open on a standard media player, such as a Windows media player. You do have the options here of selecting your date and time to be printed on top of the uh, video footage. Um, you can select by leaving it checked or you can uncheck it if you would like. You can also choose where it appears within the screen, the font size, the color, and those types of details. Hit OK, close this out, and once you're ready to start backing up, you hit the start button right here. You'll have a window that pops up and this will take a little bit of time just depending on how long your clip is because what's happening is the video is being converted from the GeoVision format into a universal WMV9 format. So it does take a little bit of time to do that. So just let this go and it will say merging and then it will go through its process and at the end it will say complete. Once your video is complete, it will say complete, and then you can just simply click, right click, and you can hit open path. And once you do that, it will take you directly to that clip, or you can go to your desktop, wherever we put it and find it. And then you can double click, and it's going to bring up the video in a Windows media player. Now, obviously the downside to using this method is you do not have control on the video, but at least it can be played universally across multiple PCs that would have a standard media player. This has been a video tutorial on the Save as AVI feature of the Edge Recording Manager software. For further information on our product line, please check us out at www.geovision.com.tw/us. Thanks a lot for watching.